When you think of space tourism, it might seem prohibitively expensive. However, Arizona-based company Worldview offers a more affordable option at around $50,000. This price includes a journey for up to eight passengers and two crew members in a pressurized capsule carried by a massive helium balloon. Ascending gently to an altitude of about 30 kilometers, passengers get a breathtaking view of Earth's curvature and the vast blackness of space all visible through large panoramic windows. That's not all. The capsules are designed for both comfort and luxury, featuring reclining seats, gourmet meals and onboard Wi-Fi. The entire journey lasts approximately five to eight hours and flights launch over iconic landmarks such as the Grand Canyon, the Great Barrier Reef and other stunning locations. If exploring Earth from the stratosphere with the Worldview capsule isn't enough and you dream of spending months on the red planet, where would you live? The creators of the Mars Habitat project have an intriguing solution developed as part of NASA's Habitat Challenge. It explores how 3D printing technology can be used to build homes on Mars. The project has two phases. First, a fleet of robots will be sent to Mars to construct a protective outer shell using local regolith before human arrival, while second focuses on astronauts setting up inflatable pods within the shell, creating adaptable living and working spaces. As you can see, this concept is so fascinating that it quickly gained recognition, earning a spot among the top 10 finalists in NASA's competition. Project Haven 1 is an ambitious private space station initiative led by the American aerospace company VAST. Scheduled for launch in August 2025 aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, the project represents a significant shift in low Earth orbit operations, especially as NASA plans to retire the International Space Station by 2030. Initially, Haven 1 will operate as an independent station, envisioned as a compact, efficient module accommodating four astronauts. It will serve as a platform for scientific research, manufacturing and space tourism, all within modern and functional working conditions. But VAST's ambitions extend beyond Haven 1. By 2028, the company plans to add modules to expand Haven 1 into a larger station and eventually establish an artificial gravity space station by the 2030s. Five years ago, a trio of cube-shaped robots named Bumble, Honey and Queen made their way to the International Space Station. Similar to the droids from the Star Wars series, NASA's free-flying robotic system, known as Astrobee, was designed to assist astronauts by handling routine tasks, thereby allowing crew members to focus on more complex scientific work. Each robot is equipped with an array of sensors and cameras to navigate its surroundings and perform tasks such as inventory management, capturing data and images of experiments, and transporting materials around the station. Beyond supporting current ISS operations, Astrobee also serves as a test bed for advanced robotic technologies that will be vital for deep space missions, including future exploration of the Moon and Mars. As humanity prepares for a sustained presence on the Moon, companies like Gitai are developing advanced robotic labour solutions to support lunar exploration and infrastructure development. Take their four-legged rover, for instance. Weighing 280 kilograms and equipped with dual arms and claw-like hands, this versatile robot is designed to handle complex tasks such as assembling solar panels, setting up communication antennas and extracting resources. Engineered to withstand the moon's harsh terrain, the rover has already demonstrated its capabilities in simulated environments like the Mojave Desert. Scheduled for launch by 2025, Gitai envisions deploying this rover as part of broader initiatives, including NASA's Artemis program. Remember the movie The Martian, where Matt Damon grows potatoes on Mars to survive? While that was fiction, 
Growing food on Mars presents significant challenges. With an atmosphere 100 times thinner than Earth's, only half the sunlight and no accessible fresh water, it's no easy task. To tackle this, NASA holds competitions to find sustainable food solutions for deep space missions. Among the standout competitors is Nucleus, a modular system developed by Interstellar Lab. This innovative system consists of nine modules, three dedicated to functional systems and six for growing microgreens, vegetables, mushrooms and even insects, all while using minimal water and nutrients. As of September 2024, the Nucleus team won $1 million in prize money, securing their position as the top US team in the competition. Don't forget to subscribe to Unstoppable Gadgets. And if you want to check out some more space technologies, click on the screen for the next video.